Hello viewers, as we discuss some MCQs related to nuclear physics earlier, now let's discuss another part of it and the MCQs are now that we are discussing are basically related to the nuclear radiations. So the above on MCQs we already discussed in our previous video, now we can discuss uh, another part of it which is related to the nuclear radiations. So the first one is charge on alpha particle is equal to the charge on nucleus of what the correct option is helium the rest options are basically wrong why option c is correct because we know that alpha particles are basically a cluster of two proton and two neutrons so it is basically a cl cluster of two proton and two neutron and we know that two proton and two neutrons are basically consist by the helium nucleus so alpha particle mass is equal to the mass of the helium uh, nuclei so that's why we can say that basically the charge of alpha particle is basically uh, two so it is equal to the charge of helium nuclei because the uh, atomic number of helium is also two and we know that here also two protons so that's why option C is correct now let's discuss another MCU which one of the following is highly ionizing so the correct option is alpha particle the rest of particles like beta particle proton neutrons are not highly ionizing compared to the alpha particle because of its greater mass it consists of two protons two neutrons and consists of that's why higher energy as compared to the beta uh, or proton or neutrons so alpha particles are basically highly ionizing as compared to the rest of the particles third which one of the following is highly penetrating now penetration is basically related to the size of particles or radiations so we know that basically compared to the particles electromagnetic radiations are more penetrating and those electromagnetic radiations are more penetrating which consist high energy so that's why gamma rays are more penetrating compared to beta alpha or x-rays so that's why c option is correct for cancer tissues in thyroid gland can be detected by the intake of what by the intake of radio iodine because we know that iodine 131 which is radioactive uh, can be used for the treatment of thyroid uh, gland so <clears throat> that's why option c is correct five solid state detector is basically a pn junction diode which is basically a reverse bias PN junction diode the rest of the options NPN PNP NPN transistors etc are wrong so correct option is a 6 tumors are irradiated by electrons gamma rays alpha rays beta rays so basically tumors are irradiated by gamma rays 7 Wilson cloud chamber is used to detect what alpha particle beta particle gamma particle so basically wilson cloud cloud chamber can be used for detection of alpha as well as beta particle so that's why option a is correct because in option a it is given that one and two so we know that alpha and beta both so that's why option a is correct now Eight, Jaeger molar counter is used to detect alpha particle, beta particle, gamma particle. Basically, Jaeger molar counter is used to detect alpha, beta, as well as gamma particles. So, all of the three kind of uh, two kind of particles as well as radiations uh, like gamma can be detected with the help of Jaeger molar counter. So, that's why option. D is correct because in op option D it is given that 1, 2 and 3. 9. 
Jaeger Molder counter gamma particles are detected by producing what? By producing photoelectrons. So option D is correct. The rest of the options are wrong. 10. Specially designed solid state detector having amplifier can be used to detect what? To detect gamma particles. Why here the particle term is used? Because we know that electromagnetic radiations behave sometimes waves as well as sometimes particles. So the gamma uh, electromagnetic radiation uh, possesses particle like behavior. So that's why because it uh, encounter with particle and it is absorbed by the uh, particular uh, uh, atom electron hole pair are formed in solid state detector and uh, particle can be detected with the help of uh, amplifier because sound is producing there so option c is correct recently heavy particle w and z bosons are discovered to play important role in the direction of the nucleons which are what which are 100 times heavier than nucleons so option d is correct range of alpha particle in air is about what is about seven centimeters rest of the options are not correct because we know that alpha particle are highly ionizing radiations compared to the beta as uh, highly ionizing particles compared to the beta as well as gamma rays so due to its uh, higher ionization ability its uh, range is minimum in air which is just a few centimeter and seven centimeter is correct option 13 penetration of beta particle is greater than alpha particle due to what as we say earlier that basically penetrating uh, penetration ability is related to the mass and size of particle and radiations so as we know that size of beta particle is smaller compared to the or we can say that mass of beta particle is smaller compared to the alpha particle because alpha particle is a cluster of two proton to neutron while beta particle is energetic electrons so that's why the mass of beta particle is smaller so its penetration power is also greater so option a is correct small mass now which one of the following can be used to produce ions of higher energy cyclotron is basically accelerator which is used to accelerate charged particle and it is used to produce high energy so b option is correct which one of the following is used for fast counting and penetrating at low voltage so for fast counting and for penet uh, sorry for and for fast counting and operating at low voltage a particular detector is used which is known as solid state detector it operates at low voltage and it can count very fast at, as compared to the jagger molar wilson etc so that's why option b is correct the range of beta particle in air is around about 700 centimeter for shielding gamma rays the material is used is basically lead or plumbum we know that lead is a good absorber because it uh, number of it contain greater number of electrons per unit volume it is more dense compared to the rest of the elements are compared to the air so that's why it absorb more gamma rays so d option is correct eight which one of the following is most useful tracer so the good one best tracer in all of these option is carbon 14 which is used for radioactive dating as well so carbon 14 is a radioactive and it is a good tracer and with the help of it we can uh, check the performance of particular plant to check the process of photosynthesis to determine the age of different uh, particular fossils now 19 neutrons penetrate matter rapidly and cheaply because they are what because they are neutral that's why it can interact easily with other charged particles because itself it is a neutral particle so it's uh, uh, it's uh, penetration power uh, or you can say that it can penetrate deeply as compared to the other particles because of its neutral nature so option a is correct the last one mcqs is basically in which 
one of the following the path of alpha and beta particles are absorbed so the path of alpha and beta particles are basically absorbed in Wilson cloud chamber because we know that in this kind of cloud chamber the tracks are produced like these uh, straight tracks are produced which basically indicate that which kind of particles enter inside the chamber and we can determine their path and their nature as well that whether these are gamma rays alpha particle or beta particle depending upon their ionization ability it produce different types of uh, tracks so uh, the path of alpha and beta particle are observed in wilson cloud chamber so option c is correct thanks for your time subscribe this channel for upcoming interesting videos related to nature and physics